this is Via, and today I'm going to show you some cute title ideas in a monochromatic theme. So I'm only going to use black, white, and gray, which is pretty outside of my norm. So I'm really excited to share these ideas with you guys, and I hope you enjoy. I always like to use a black felt tip pen for any base title features. I also have a gray mild liner and a gray Crayola super tip with me, and a black brush pen and a gray brush pen as well as a white gel pen for accents. You don't have to use these specific pens, but I just wanted to show you what I was using in this video. So I'm gonna begin by showing you guys some really basic title ideas. These are for if you're new to lettering or bullet journaling and you just want something simple and easy, but that'll still look really good with your notes. For the first title, I'm going to take my black brush pen and just color in long streets to create a brush-like um, box on the paper. And then I'm going to take the white gel pen and write in my title. It might take a couple of times to go over it with the white gel pen in order to see the title, depending on how dark the black is and what type of marker you're using. I also usually like to let it dry because when you first write with a gel pen, it's not as opaque as it will be when it is finally dry. You can write this in cursive, um, uppercase letters, or your own handwriting, whichever works best for you. While that's drying, I'm going to start creating a second title. This is one of my favorites. I just create a series of small circles with a light colored marker, in this case I'm using gray in the number of letters that is in your title. Then on top of the circles, I'm just going to quickly write the, the words to my title and I might embellish it a little bit later with some smaller dots in between. If you have a subheading that you'd like to include with this title, I recommend you writing it in a flowy cursive if you'd like or just a handwriting that's different to the one that's in the little bubbles. This step is of course completely optional. If you want to create a box but don't want it to look basic, you can always take a highlighter or a marker and draw two horizontal parallel lines and then at the ends draw two vertical parallel lines and write the title in the middle. This is a really cute way to add some interest to your title that's beyond just drawing a basic box. And it's also really nice for if you don't like using rulers, it's okay if the lines are not completely straight because it ends up working with the style of this title. For the final title in this category, I am going to use my gray brush pen to draw a thick wavy line across the page and use my black felt tip pen to write the title on top. I love this style of title, especially when I'm taking notes. I use it all the time in my section headers because it's a really quick way to make my notes look extra aesthetic and cute. I'm going to go over my first title one more time with the white gel pen to make sure that the white is clear enough to see over the black. And then we can move on to the next section. Though all of these titles are following the black, white, and gray theme, I find that a really nice way to add that bit of artistic style that you might be missing from using the monochromatic colors is by using lettering. If you're new to lettering or are still practicing, it's totally fine. These will hopefully be easy enough to follow for people of all skill levels. If you like using brush pens for lettering, the easiest way is to just take a single color brush pen, in this case I am using gray, and writing out in cursive your title. Make sure that on the down strokes you make your stroke thicker and on the up strokes you make your stroke a bit thinner. If you want to add a subheading, just take the same brush pen and draw a thick line underneath the title and use a felt tip pen or if you wrote your title in black, a white gel pen to write in your subheading. My next title is very similar, only instead of a brush pen, I'm going to use a highlighter that has a chisel tip to write in the lettering. 
Underneath for the subheading, I'm going to use the thinner side of my highlighter, or you can always use the pointier end of the chisel tip to write in the subtitle in basic capital letters with circles um, in between each letter, similar to the title a couple ones above. For this title, I am going to focus on doing capital letters instead of cursive. And I'm once again going to use the thicker side of my marker to create the downstrokes because this is a way to really make the title stand out, especially with the capital letters. Underneath, I'm going to draw a wavy line and write my subheading on top of that. And in the end, I'm going to outline the title with my black felt tipped pen and add a box shadow around the right side and the bottom side of each letter. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my absolute favorite way to write titles. So I actually already showed you guys how to do this in my previous video, so if you want to watch that, I will link it in the description and also um, somewhere on the screen there will be a link to watch that. And that one is in color, so if you want to see what it looks like with different colors, go right ahead and watch it. But it also looks amazing in monochromatic colors. So what I do is I take a light marker and I write in the title in whatever type of lettering I want to do. And then I take a darker color, in this case black, and I'm going to color in the bottom of each lit letter, making sure that I don't have a straight line at the top, and instead make the line a little bit more jagged as if I was creating an ombre. Then I'm going to draw a line with my darker color underneath for the subheading, which I will write in with my white gel pen. But while I'm waiting for that to dry so the gel pen sticks better, I am once again going to outline these letters and create a shadow. I'm also going to really quick add a highlight with my white gel pen, which is just basically drawing a little line and a little dot underneath on each letter. And there you have it! Doesn't it look so cool? I really love this title, you guys. Alright, now on to the next category of titles. These ones are also really cool looking and they're actually a lot easier than they might appear, though it might take some extra practice at first to do them. I titled this category Overlapping, which I couldn't really think of a great name for it, but essentially what this is, is for each of these titles, there's going to be a background letter, and then on top of it, I'm going to write the same title, but with a different handwriting, if that makes sense. It'll be a lot easier if I just show you guys. To start off with the first one, I'm going to draw a straight line with a marker or highlighter, and then around that line, but not on that line, I'm going to write the title, making sure that you can see the letters clearly on top and on the bottom and that I can see what letter they are, but try not to get any of the words on the gray line. Then in cursive, a more longer flowy cursive, I'm going to write the same word. Next, I'm going to take my lightest color of gray and I'm going to write, write out my title in thick capital letters and on top of it, I'm going to write my title again in cursive. These titles are seriously so fun and I always love how they turn out. My next one, I'm actually going to have the background lettering being cursive and on top I'm going to write capital letters with my black felt tipped pen. 
If you notice for all of these, the background letters are much larger than the letters on top and that's very intentional. I believe that that makes it look a lot neater and clearer and it's important to keep in mind with these titles because you don't want them to be too distracting to the eye and you of course want them to be legible and readable while still looking very beautiful. This next one also has a cursive base but instead of writing in the letters on top like the one previously, I'm actually going to draw circles and write the letters inside of the circles. For my final category, I'm going to show you guys some titles that involve doodles and different types of elements that aren't directly involved in the actual letters of the titles themselves. I went for a more whimsical look for the first one, which is why I drew the letters at staggered heights. And then I'm going to go in and draw little sparkly diamonds on the sides. This one is super cute and simple. So it's perfect for people who are just beginning their lettering journey or who are starting to learn how to bullet journal or take artistic notes. My next one, once again, involves lettering. I'm just going to quickly write in my title with my highlighter and then I'm going to draw little dashes around the sides and draw the line underneath it for the subheading. I feel like honestly I should have included this next one in with the first section, but here it is at the end. So I'm going to just write in my title. I chose cursive in this case. But as with all the titles in these videos, if you want to use a different type of handwriting, feel free. After I write my title, I'm just going to draw two lines around it as if it was going through the title. But I don't want to write on top of the title unless I was using a different color. Then it would totally be okay. I actually don't like the way that this next title turned out, but I still want to show you what it looked like and include it within this video because it started out looking pretty decent. So I drew little flowers underneath at the bottom and then I added my title and subtitle above them. I decided I wanted to try and see what they would look like colored in. Unfortunately, I did not wait long enough for the pen to dry and I also used a darker color so it ended up looking a bit muddy with the flowers. I think if you wanted to color in the flowers, I would use a lighter color and maybe draw in the color first just so that there is no smearing. I did, however, like the end effect of the look of the shadow with the title itself. Finally, this title is for anybody who loves space or thinks planets are super cute. I drew some circles and I made them look like they belonged in the solar system, by adding rings around them, little swirly lines or I tried to make one look like a moon by adding little craters and then I wrote in my title in the middle and adding some stars just to make it look super cute and doodly. Thank you so so much for watching this video i hope that it was helpful to you if you have any questions or would like to see more of any type of title that i did in this video let me know in the comments below and feel free to like and subscribe thank you and i appreciate all the support